Today we have the hunk of rock found at the crash site of the plane associated with the Maury Island UFO. Could just be a chunk of lava, um, natural at it's all over the crash site, or it might be something that was um, actually in the plane. The thing is falling apart. It's um, flaking off all over the place, so it doesn't like its um, dry conditions. Oops. Yeah, there's the newspaper article. But it does have, um, not really shiny, but it has some black on it. Like maybe it was just in the fire in the um, airplane crash big flakes coming off all over. It's an exposed inner part now. You can see there's the original black on the outside. But maybe it is a stony meteorite. Oh, this big chunk that came off, um, that's the um, pieces I'm going to look at under the microscope. You can see great big crystals inside, so that was sort of like a big um, um, cavity with crystals growing, at, growing in it at one time. But lots of little tiny holes like it was um, old lava full of gas bubbles. Although, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if, if it has to be low gravity to have gas bubbles like this, like an um, asteroid-type gravity rather than Earth, Earth 1G acceleration, where all the bubbles would go to the surface. Today we have mineral samples from the Kelso airplane crash site, a round one and sort of an oblong one. And I'm going to stick them under the inspection microscope. I call them Kelso mineral samples because they might not be associated with a crash, they might just be slag or or um, natural rock from the Kelso area. Now, um, oh, note that I'm not a geochemist, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is the long, narrow piece, and it looks like it's got a fusion crust. This black layer that um, meteorites tend to have. Although that might just be from the aircraft fire where you have burning aviation fuel uh, that's hot enough to, to liquefy aluminum. That little thing in the center looks like um, it's dull. It's um, a piece of rust, rusted iron in the center of a small sphere of, of shiny black glassy stuff. And right below it we see a nice little cr transparent crystal. There are crystals all through this thing, little white ones, and they're all in the center of um, what looks like ca uh, cavities, little spherical spots. And they're also holes, so this looks like it was all full of gas pockets, like um, old lava or maybe um, hardened mud. It is rock-like, so it would be like fossil, fossilized mud. Um, or maybe there was something in these cavities that, that um, rotted out, if it was something soluble. But the cavities all look like they're lined with sort of dark crystalline stuff. And crystal usually means that it's been in um, hot water, super pressure water, where um, silica minerals, silica is um, soluble at high temperature, high pressure, so you can get quartz growing. Uh, I don't see any other interesting spots. All these little things are about one millimeter across. Oops, in the center there, there's another rusted iron bit in the center of a little round thing. They're all one millimeter across, which um, that's what chondrules in chondrite type meteors tend to be. This, so this could just be steel making slag, or maybe it's an actually a a stony meteorite. Here's the the larger round piece 
it also has some of that fusion crust and some holes. Um, there right in the center it looks like a little white quartz crystal that's um, in the center of a sphere of something that was sort of shattered when this piece flaked off. Um, that little black thing, there's a lot of them and um, they're, they fall apart when I poke them with a needle so they're not solid metal or anything. But lots of little shiny facets. These almost look like um, uh, little cavities that, that were bubbles originally and then got filled with water and crystals grew on them. Sort of like micro geodes maybe if this was a water based stuff instead of um, something like steel making slag. Um, it is magnetic. I can pick this up weekly with a super magnet. Oh, right in the center there's a nice chunk of quartz. And there's some of the matrix that all this is embedded in. It looks like granite except very fine grained and some of these cavities like that one right there they're all rusty inside so it looks like it had iron in the middle that's um, rusted out from this thing sitting in the dirt in Washington rain for um, 60 or 70 years whatever it was My own crazy speculation about all this is um, if this material is meteorite then it explains the UFO sighting because um, uh, what are those little round things? There are a lot of those because if um, a fairly large stony meteorite re-enters above your fishing boat especially if it broke up because of tidal forces, you'd see some huge plasma display in the upper atmosphere. Could even be donut shaped, like they claimed the UFOs were donut shaped. And go um, drifting slowly across the sky above you, then hundreds of pounds of, of s volcanic slag then rains down on your fishing boat and kills your dog, injures one of the the people working. No UFOs needed. There's that one cavity. It looks like um, I don't know, sulfur compound or something. Something that was recently wet. I guess this rock was um, from a creek. That, so it was um, underwater fairly recently. The little cavities are full of stuff. It could even be biological just from, from the creek water.